Gladiator Body Day 4, pumping the muscle. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're enjoying the program. Now, let's get into it. First and foremost, as always, 10 minutes of jumping rope to warm up. Yes, yesterday with a thousand jumping jacks broken down into two sets of 500, it left me a little sore. I'm not going to lie. My calves, my feet, my quads, a lot of my lower abs, somehow doing the jumping jacks really activated my core, my abs, my lower abs. So they're a little sore. But with the jumping rope, of course, once about three minutes passes, the blood starts to get to flow and I'm just ready to go. So 10 minutes jumping rope just to get everything flowing, get those lungs open. And of course, you also need to be eating a good diet. As I said in the first video, Gladiator Body Day 1, meat and fruits. I don't really mess too much with grains and rice because it leaves me extremely bloated. I don't want to be too bloated. The carbs really help me out, but eat a good diet. Then right after that, the other staple for the warm up, it's going to be Tabata pulsing squats right now i'm doing three pump squats it's going to be one two three on the fourth rep all the way up 20 seconds of work 10 seconds of rest 10 rounds we didn't do the squats on day three because day three was more of a cardio day active recovery day we've been doing a lot of muscle work on day one we did the 10 sets of push-ups and pulls the second day we did the dumbbell work curls and overhead presses so of course your muscles are going to be a little fired up and on the first two days we also did the pulsing squats both days tabatas 10 rounds 20 seconds of work 10 seconds of rest on the third day was just a rest day getting the cardio in just trying to get the blood circulated letting the muscles rest so they can heal grow get stronger but day four we hitting it back again pulsing squats a lot of you guys ask, like, how did my legs get a little bigger? Of course, like, I'm not, my legs are not as big. I'm not as big as I used to be before. I used to be big. There was a point where for, like, two years, I just did bodyweight training. And I just did these. A lot of pulsing squats every day. I would do at least 500, 3 to 500. But I would start it off with these Tabatas. I don't know why. It just intuitively, I just did it. After I did Tabata squats, Tabata pulsing squats, I would get into sets of like 50 pulsing squats, like a lot of it was just to pump the legs. Now, for you, because you're always sitting, you rarely do this much squats. This will really help to open everything up. Your hips, your hamstrings, your back, your knees, everything. This is something that I needed to get back on, just squatting every day. You know, as I said, when you lose that springiness in your legs, your knees get sore, your ankles, they really don't have no mobility. You really lose a lot of life. It, it plays on your head. I know how it is because before I like lost all my weight, started my YouTube, I was big, but I lost, I just lost everything. Like, and especially the strength and mobility and that springiness in my legs. And I knew like I needed to get it back. So squatting, squats every day, body weight squats, nothing too crazy. This will help to pump the muscles as well as just getting blood flow to those knees, to those ankles. As you can see, I'm going wide squat, wide sumo pulsing squats, then feet together, narrow squats, just pulsing it out, just really helping to stretch out my knees, getting that mobility in my ankles and just we're going to be hitting a lot of these pulsing squats on this gladiator body. This gladiator body program is more to really just build you up so that you have some good functional muscle. Now, after the Tabata pulsing squats, we're going to get into the main bulk of the workout, which is going to be 10 sets of push-ups followed by body weight towel rows. As you can see for today, I'm going slow and controlled. You're going to do these 10 sets with a nice tempo. You're not going to focus on reps today. Today, you're just going to focus on using the exercise to pump the muscle. Gladiator day one, we did 10 sets of the same thing, push-ups to bodyweight rows, but we focused on hitting a number. Basically, we focused on performance and just aiding the body, making it stronger to endure. So we were hitting numbers. We had to hit a number and keep that number for every set for 10 sets. For today, I don't care how many you do. The main 
focus is to work the muscle. As you can see, I'm going slow. Right after the push-ups, I went straight into my towel body weight rows. As you can see now, like I said, I'm trying to work the muscle. So I'm working it at a different angle. I'm seated. I'm kind of sitting and I'm pulling widely. And I'm really trying to hit the back, the everything in the back. My traps, my rear delts, my lats. And I'm going slow. I'm focusing on working the muscle this time around you got to become like a bodybuilder this is what these 10 sets are going to be i don't care about the reps as far as rest i rested about 60 seconds 30 to 60 seconds this time because i'm not focused on the reps i'm not really trying to get a rest all i'm trying to focus on is working the muscle we're using the body weight exercises to pump up the muscle to work it to get some good lactic acid in there get that blood flowing in there you know you're eating all this good food the fruits the protein the steaks the rotisserie chicken you know when you're circulating you're pumping your muscles all of that nutrition is just flowing around in your muscles helping your muscles to just recover better to get stronger get bigger shaped out now for me back in the day like i said you know there was like two years i just did strictly bodyweight workouts there were days when i did reps where I focused on just hitting reps. Like for me, when I went to the park or to the beach to work out, I always wanted to show out. So of course I had to make sure like I could hit 10 sets of pull-ups, push-up dips, just like with ease. But then there were days where I would just focus on working the muscle. This really helped with the recovery because I'm not really like trying to gun for a number. What I'm trying to do is just let the muscle work. When you're doing sets like this, for me, I always try to stop when there's at least, I could do at least two to three more reps. I'm not trying to kill it. Unlike the day, Gladiator Day 1, we did 10 sets. You really got to push yourself to hold your number throughout the 10 sets. For today, I think the first set of push-ups, I did 20 slow and controlled reps. I think by the last one, I think I was on like 8, 5 to 8, maybe 10. I'm not too sure. But as you can see now, everything is kind of popping out and I'm just going slow. I'm letting everything work. I drop the towel. Mark down my tally of what set it was and just rest about 60 seconds. As you can see, now my other trick is I'm wearing music. I didn't wear um, headphones when I was warming up. Now, when we're pumping the muscle like this, okay, this is just my theory from martial arts and just overall my overall fitness experience, all right? You know, when you're doing this kind of work, when you're really going slow, you're just focusing on working the muscle, you're shaping the muscle, you're working the muscle. During these times, you want to really get in your head like a good positive mindset. I feel, you know, when you're working the muscle and you have these good thoughts going into your muscles, it, it really helps to amplify your look. Like, you got to understand that you're not just working out. The thoughts you carry while you're working out, it's really going to help to shape just how you look. If you ever notice, like, guys who listen to, like, crazy headbanger music, when you look at their muscles, when they're flexing, when you look at them, they they look like what they listen to. Same thing. I don't want to look like a crazy dude, so I'm just listening to like smoother rap music, just kind of trying to just keep my tempo and just build a beautiful body, a beautiful body for my beautiful girlfriend. You know, at the end, like it's a great feeling to have a beautiful body and like, you know, your girlfriend to love you for who you are on top of like you put in the work to give her this package it's a crazy feeling you know on top of that yes i want to be strong and i want to protect my kids and just like help others become strong and this is a good way to do it when you're doing these slow and controlled reps to just work the body to look a certain way listen to good music whatever look you're trying to achieve try to find music that matches that and this will just help overall in the package that you're presenting all right. This is like like Chez little wushu martial arts esoteric theory and wisdom and philosophy. That that's I don't know somehow I came up with that like years ago. Everything that I'm telling you guys and that I'm showing you like I've been doing it for years and it just helps to create you overall and like you know just these little things can really help to carry you throughout life. You know when you go to an interview, when you speak to friends, when you're like writing a paper, doing an Instagram post, whatever you're doing, you know, when you're in this moment, just building your your body, your muscles, going slow and controlled, you're listening to good music that'll help build you up. 
it overall just builds you just in life and it carries into everything, all right? So that's what I want to pass to you today. For these 10 sets, slow and controlled. Don't count the reps. Focus on working the muscle. Try to save at least two to three reps in the tank because, I mean, it is 10 sets. This one is going to be a little longer depending on how many reps you can do. As you can see, I was going slow. I had to kind of speed it up to catch the pump back up and really, really focus on pumping that muscle, all right? 10 sets. After that, we're going to finish off with 10 minutes of free flow shadow boxing. As you can see, everything is pumped up. For those who have been following me, you can see like the steady state of how I'm growing. Everything is pumped up, but gladiator body, as much as like the muscles are getting built, I'm getting stronger. My conditioning, my physical, muscular endurance is going up. I also still got to be sharp and this is extremely hard. Everything is pumped up with blood and like just to move my arms like this is extremely hard. Trying to keep my elbows tucked in is hard because you know just doing all those towel bodyweight rows my lats are like flared up as you can see you can see it dude like and so to keep my elbows down it's crazy but like I said gladiator body you got to be able to move and groove even though you're like filled up with blood fatigued it's one thing to just look good. You also, you know, as a man, you always want to be able, you know, when when shit hits the fan, you want to be able to hold your own. You don't have to, like, necessarily try to beat up people, but just hold your own so you can protect those that you love. That's a wrap for day four. Hope you enjoyed it. And always remember, train hard and be kind.